Everyone wants to automate, but let me ask you a real question. Do you actually know what's worth automating? A lot of businesses do it by gut feel. And gut feel is actually just garbage. If you don't do the math to understand what's worth your time, you're building toys. And while you build toys, your competitors, the ones that do it properly, they're getting ahead of the game. And they're optimizing their businesses, making more money. Here's the formula that I need you to remember. Hours wasted multiplied by hourly rate. The product of that multiplication is pain in dollars. And that value is the number one filter that you need to put the ideas to, for automation through. On top of that, there are three additional filters. One of them is revenue uplift. Ask yourself a question. What happens if, you, if things just done faster? For example, faster replies will equal more deals closed. Another filter, air cost. Refunds, SLAs, churn, mistakes equal money lost. And finally, frequency multiplied by duration. You take a tiny task, repeat it thousands of times, and that becomes a massive leak. So tell me, how much do you like pissing money away? Let's take a look at a specific example. For example, it is lead routing. Let's say that there are 40 leads a week. Every lead takes six minutes to process. And then there are two people working the leads, okay? Combined, so $75 an hour. And uh, they work with that type of traffic 416 hours a year. So, so that cost alone translates to $31,200 a year of in wasted labor. And then add on top another $8,000 in mistakes and penalties. And that's the money you're bleeding today. But here's the kicker. If you fix the workflow and optimize it and start and things just start working faster, then faster replies could actually mean another $50,000 in closed deals. So right now, <laughs> you are losing about $40,000 a year and you're leaving another 50 on the table. Stop guessing what to automate. Do the math. Once you do the math, it will actually make it obvious what workflows are worth automating and which ones are just going to be wasting your money. In the next part, I will share with you a scoring formula that I use to rank which automations to build first. Stay tuned.